Hello and welcome to this new lesson of our data entry course. In this video, I'm going to answer a few questions from Adam who got his very first project from his client and now he needs help. And obviously, I'm going to help him out by answering the questions and I'm recording this video just to keep you motivated guys. Please keep learning and please implement what you have learned from this course to get success as Adam did. So without further ado, let me read the message from Adam related to the project I got. Hi Ajharul, thank you so much for such an amazing course. Thank you so much for joining this course Adam and thank you all for joining this course. I followed your guidelines and just a month later have gotten my first project. Wow awesome. Congratulations on your first job Adam. There are more to come for sure so please provide the best service as you can to get more jobs from this client or from other clients as well. So after that I had something to ask about my project though. The client wants me to do data mining for some companies using Google Maps. So basically, Adam have to collect some information about some businesses from Google Maps listing or Google My Business listing. And he wants me to add a column. So he's basically working on an Excel or a Google spreadsheet. Okay. And he wants me to add a column about the status of the business, whether it is claimed or unclaimed. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add this. Let's say this is our spreadsheet where we have to work. So I'm going to add them here, claimed or unclaimed. And I'm going to come up to all of this stuff soon. So please don't worry. Now let's go back here. I wanna know how to check for that. I'm going to show you how you can see if a business listing is already claimed or unclaimed. And also, aren't there Google My Business links on Google Maps page? or will I have to find them separately? All right, so for to answer this part, Google My Business links are already available on Google Maps page, so you don't have to find them separately. And to explain everything clear, clearly, so let me take you to this Google spreadsheet, and let's say your client asked you to find all the restaurants in New York City, or restaurants list from New York City. Now, if I copy this from here, and if I make a search here, restaurants in New York City. So if I, let's say, hit enter, you are going to see all the listing, all the results appearing here. These are coming from Google My Business page and these are available with Google Maps listing as well. So if I click on this view all button right here and you are going to see there are many jobs or many business listed on this page just take a look so if you click on this 10th page it is going to take a whole lot more pages available if the businesses are available as you can see 14th page so let me just take you back to the first page let me take you to the first page of this search result okay so here we go we are on the first page of this um, search parameter now Let's say if I want to collect, as you can see, we have got in this spreadsheet, we have to collect. These are just for the example purpose, okay? So there might, there could be more uh, uh, information to collect, let's say email address, owner name, etc, etc. So I'm just assuming these are the information which client needs or provided. And then he, the client asked Adam to add this column, so which we have done. So now let's say we want to collect these businesses name, website, phone number and if they are claimed or unclaimed. So let me take you back to this Google um, search result. So let's say I want to collect information for this business. So if I click here, it is going to take us to this page from where we'll be able to find the business name, the address information, the phone number, website, uh, menu, etc, etc. As you can see the website as well. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy the business name from here, copy, and I'm going to paste this here, paste. After that, we need the website information. So if I click on this website button right here, it is going to take us to this business website. So let me just copy this website URL. Then I'm going to paste the information right here. After that, we need to find the phone number. So we can get the phone number right uh, from right here, from this Google My Business listing page. Let's copy this phone number copy and paste it here and we can even collect the phone number from their website as well so if I take you here or actually I'm seeing this contact page here so if I click here on this contact button right here we are going to find just take a look we are seeing the phone number 
right so you can collect their facebook page instagram page if the client asked us so if i open it up okay we'll be able to find the um, instagram url as well so let me take the phone number which we have already taken right so now i'm going to paste this again so you can see that the same phone number the phone number is matching with this phone number so the informations are already accurate which are available on google my business listing so now what we are going to do these are actually on google maps listing right so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how this is the actual issue with his project like he's not being able to understand how to find out if the business listing is claimed or unclaimed so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you as you can see here right after the phone number listing you are going to see these two options suggest and edit or own this business these are the two options now if you click on this button right here which is directly connected to google my business page or listing so if i click on own this business button right here it is going to take us to a new page as you can see google my business and you are going to see this business profile has already been claimed that means the owner of this business already claimed this business ownership in the google my business page so in this case we can simply type out like c l a i m e d claimed all right now let me show you an example of an unclaimed business listing from the page so if i take you back here after that let's say this business r rico stick house so if i click here you are going to see this is the business name and that doesn't have any website listed here but we are seeing uberis.com which is not the um, website url for this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the name of this business copy and let's paste the business right here after that we are not being able to find the website from google my business listing but what we can do get we can get the phone number from here so let's just copy the phone number as you can see i'm seeing the phone number address information so i'm going to copy the phone number copy and let's go back here paste it right here after that here is the actual part claimed or unclaimed so now if i click on this own this business button right here and just take a look we are seeing this page claim this business so this means this business listing or the page we are currently on is not claimed by the owner of this business we can simply claim this business or we can help them out to claim the business for their uh, security purposes right so this is an example we can simply get click on get verified or verify letter we can go for the next process to make the adjustment edit this business add more information and reply on reviews etc etc so this is an example of a unclaimed business page so if i go back here we can simply click on un c l a i m e d unclaimed all right and now let's say from this experience we could say that the business owner whoever managing this business they are not tech savvy we can help them with a lot of stuff so let's say if i can find some more information so let's copy uh, about this business i'm going to paste this out and hit enter you are going to find just take a look they have got a website but they are not available online that much so if i open the website up in a new link we are going to see wow so they have got this one single page here where we have got their phone number their address information and nothing else they have got their open table link also so we can provide them website development services we can provide them like digital marketing services as well actually our client is going to provide them so this is why they are building these things right so this was the job guys so you can find a lot whole lot more information so let me just copy this website url from here and i'm going to paste it right here and just take a look we have got this business listing so this is it so basically this is how you have to find out if a business is already claimed or unclaimed and if i want to show you some other unclaimed business examples so let's say i want i'm from bangladesh i'm going to make a search let's say clinics clinics in dhaka okay just as an example and if i click here on view all you are going to see in bangladesh uh, bangladesh there are so many businesses they are not already uh, connected that way with um, online arena so or digital marketing area arena so if i let's say for this business if i click here 
for this business you are going to see that there is not much information available even i'm not seeing any um, link for the google my business page right so this is one kind of let's say suggest and edit or add, add a website this is clearly open so i can click here and i can add more information and ultimately i can claim this business claim this listing for myself um, if i need so let's say this business as an example you can see we have got nothing and as just take a look on this business we have got no more information here so this business is not unclaimed i could say even without clicking here so even before clicking here so let me just click on this own this business button right here you are going to see we are seeing this option claim this business and now if i click on this manage now button i'll be able to manage a whole lot of stuff like um reply on to reviews i can add some information i can remove some information from this business listing edc edc so this is the another example of an unclaimed business so i believe you got a clear idea adam like what you have to do and i believe you have got this video helpful as well thank you so much for joining again and i request all of you guys who have watched this lesson please try your best learn from this course and then implement the knowledge to get success from uh, to start your freelance career on let's say upwork fiber or whatever freelance marketplace you would love to work on all right guys so thank you so much again have a good day